Seven is a lot like number six. We have a number divided by six is equal to one. So the we have x is divided by six. The opposite of divide is times. So we're gonna multiply both sides by six. The six in the numerator and denominator cancel. So on the left side, we only have x. On the right side, we only have six. We can substitute the six in for x because they are equal. Six divided by six does equal one. So this answer checks out and x equals six is our answer. Our next example is slightly more complex. On the left hand side, we have three x's plus four ones. On the right hand side, we have 34. So we have three sets of tens and four ones. Since they both have four ones on the left and on the right, I'm going to go ahead and subtract those off. Now I have three x's on the left and three sets of tens on the right. So each x is going to need to be 10 each. Let's go ahead and see how we would do those exact same steps in the equation form. I want to get my x's alone. I have three x's, I want those alone. So I first wanna get rid of my four. I minus four from both sides. When I minus four on the left, the positive four and negative four cancel to be zero. And three x plus zero is just a three x. 34 minus four will give us 30. Now I have three times x is equal to 30. Three x is equal 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite of multiply. I'm going to divide both sides by three. On the left hand side, three divided by three is one. So I have one x. Now in math, we don't usually write a one in the front. We wanna keep it just simple and x is the same thing as one x though. And 30 divided by three is equal to 10. Now x would equal 10. Let's substitute the 10 into the original equation and see if it checks out. I put 10 in orange to show you where I plugged it in. I plugged it right in for the x. Three times 10, order of operations, you do the multiplying first. Three times 10 will give me 30. And then I add four and, I will e and that will equal 34. So this equation checks out. On number nine, I wanna get my x's alone on the left-hand side. Now, even though this has a minus, that minus refers to the x's. It doesn't refer to the five. In front of the five, is there's not a sign, which indicates it's a positive five there. I wanna do the opposite of the positive five and subtract five from both sides. Notice that I don't wanna take the five away from the two x. We only do it once on each side. The equal sign is the dividing line. The positive five and the negative five cancel. And on the left hand side, I will only have a negative two x. On the right hand side, I have 21 minus five. That will give me a 16. Now I have negative two times some number x will give me 16. Negative two is being multiplied by x, so we want to do the opposite. The opposite of multiplication is division. We divide both sides by a negative two. So on the left I have x, and on the right I have negative eight. Let's go ahead and check that out. I have substituted the negative eight in for the x. Now, order of operations say we want to do the multiplication first. Negative two times negative eight will give me a positive 16. And five plus 16 does equal 21. That checks out and that is our answer. Looking at number 10, I have negative 16 plus 32 equals negative 144. I want to get my negative 16 x's alone. I want to get rid of my plus 32. I do the opposite of plus or the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. I'm going to subtract 32 from both sides. 
On the right hand side, I have a negative 144 and a negative 32. These are both negative numbers, which is going to make an even bigger negative number. So I'm actually going to add these numbers together, but in front, I'm going to have a negative sign. When I add those together, I get negative 176. On the left hand side, I have negative 16 multiplied by x to equal negative 176. The opposite of multiplication is division. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 16. Now I'm just on the, the left hand side, I'm just going to do this by hand just to get us a little bit of practice. I'm going to take my 16 into 17. It goes in once. 1 times 16 is 16. I'm going to subtract that to get a 1. Bring down the 6. And 16 goes into 16 one time. So my x is going to equal 11. Now what happens is I have a negative in the numerator and a negative in the denominator. They cancel out to make two positives. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So my answer would be 11. Let's go ahead and check that. Negative 16 times 11 plus 32. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1. I'm going to put a 0 because I'm not multiplying by 1, I'm multiplying by 10. So 1 times 6 is 6 and 1 times 1 is 1. Add those together, we have 176. This is going to be a negative 176 plus 32. Those are opposite signs. So we're getting closer to zero. We're going to subtract these two. And my answer would be negative 144, which is what they gave us in the first place. That checks out. Number 11, we're going to, we have a positive eight. There's not a sign. Even though this is a negative, this negative goes with the x over 19, just like the one we had on number nine. So we're going to actually subtract eight from both sides. Now I have a negative x over 19. This is like a negative one over 19. Now I need to get rid of the negative one and the 19. So we're gonna times this by something called the reciprocal. The reciprocal is a number where you just flip the fraction. I'm taking my negative 1 over 19 and I'm going to times it by 19 over negative 1. And what happens is they're all going to cancel out. If I multiply one side by 19 over negative 1, I have to multiply the other side by 19 over negative 1. You can multiply by whatever number you want as long as it's the same on both sides but some numbers are going to get you where you wanna go, okay? We wanna get x alone. So when I do that, my negative ones cancel and my 19s cancel. On the left, I have an x. On the right, I have two times 19, which is 38 divided by negative one. This just simplifies to be negative 38. Let's go ahead and check that. 8 minus negative 38 over 19 equals 10. Now 38 over 19 is the same as 2. So I have a negative and a negative are going to make a positive 2. 8 plus 2 equals 10. On number 12, I have 5x minus 12 equals 48. I want my 5x's alone. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. The negative 12 and positive 12 cancel to be 0. So I have 5x on the left and 60 on the right. 5 times some number x equals 60. So we want to do the opposite, which is divide. 5 times something equals 60. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. And we have x equals 12. Substituting that in, 5 times 12 is 60. 60 minus 12 is 48, so this answer checks out.